number two, and Randall Ashford from Ashford Group was taken by this project's minimalist design. That is an excellent example of tourism architecture. You have essentially a pod on your own, which is linked together to the, all the different facilities that you'd expect in a five-star place, but you're perched away on your own in a secluded villa. They can actually go out into nature and get that real feel, but then they can return back to their comfort of their five-star resort. More than 300k south of Darwin, near Catherine, and heading into Nitmaluk National Park. As an architect, I'm intrigued to find out about the challenges of designing a lodge out there. So Jenny, we're in a wonderful landscape. How is the design minimising the impact? It was all about not competing with the escarpment and, and what's around here, so we're blending in with the bush. So it's an experience mm. of where you are, not what you're in. The materials are prefabricated framing that is bought onto site in bits, so it's all sort of fitted together like a Meccano set. I can't help but notice that everything's raised. Yeah, Catherine floods to some degree every year, uh, and we're up above the 100 year flood level. So being up off the ground, that lets the water run underneath the building? Yeah, all the water flows across the site in the wet season to the river, so it's all about getting up out of that. This is actually where we wanted to build the lodge, but we weren't allowed to because of this escarpment and the drop-off and the river. <laughs> We're in a national park. The Jarwin people are the people of this area. The lodge is owned by the Jarwin Association and they were the people that were behind the whole project. They run the lodge, they train people through the lodge, they run the visitor centre in the park. They had the idea, they, they found the funding and then they came to us and the builder that we used. From low-lying roofs to woodland colours, it's comfortable accommodation that nestles into a landscape that's culturally significant and ancient. This is architecture that doesn't need to shout out, it creates its own sense of place. And now number one in the Northern Territory and for head judge Corinda Gill from Abode New Homes, the Alice Springs Desert House was a deserving winner. The owner, the architect and the builder should all be extremely proud of themselves. It's an amazing building and it would be a perfect place to call home. A house should reflect its occupants in their personalities, their intents and their lifestyle. Now, Beyond these solid and commanding walls is a story that originates from the other side of the world. I came to Australia in 1997, quickly found the desert and loved it and stayed ever since. And Steve, tell us about your lifestyle in this special house. Well, we're a couple of cyclists, we own two dogs, and so when we came to design a house, our brief to the architect was really a house for two cyclists. But we also decided it's also a house for their friends and visitors. So is this your forever home? Yes, it is. And we have planned the home to function with us in a good way as we get older. And we hope to be here forever, Steve, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And both of us had always wanted to have a house designed for us, an architectural design masterpiece and once you've done it why would you want to move on yeah. and live anywhere else we've always felt that the house should be very simple and that the colors should really bring the house to life and the color palette we've chosen here actually largely reflects the colors in the landscape outside we're a house which gets lots of light it's got great views in every direction, so you actually don't need to have too much in terms of colour within the house, but the colours that we have is all about reflecting the beautiful colours in the environment. In our summertime it can get really hot, so we wanted a house which can adapt. So during the daytime we can shut our 
windows, we have our external louvers come down, keep the heat out. We've still got our wonderful shady courtyard internal environment. And then as it cools down, you open up, you let the evening in, you let the night cool come into the house and it cools it down. Well, welcome to our outdoor living space. Oh, I love this courtyard. It's our dining area, it's our entertaining area, we have parties here, and every aspect of the house looks into this space, which is a beautiful feature for us to enjoy. To build a house like this in the desert clearly has its challenges. But they've managed to build a house that's robust, energy efficient and climate considerate. I'm left feeling energised and inspired 